reverse your rage. That's our tagline at Nuvo Vivo. People ask us, is it really possible to reverse the age? Now, what we mean by reversing the age is reducing the biological age of a person. And that is, of course, possible. What I mean by that is, say, improving the metabolic parameters, improving the body vitals. If there is any lifestyle diseases, can we get rid of the medicines or at least reduce the medications that a person is having? That's what I mean by reversing the age. At Nuvo Vivo, we help people manage lifestyle diseases such as diabetes and its associated complications including kidney damage or nerve damage, cardiovascular diseases such as hypertension, high serum cholesterol levels, PCOS and thyroid issues for women. All these have some connotation with lifestyle and of course lifestyle management will not only help them probably reduce the medicines that they are having but also make them look younger, look better and reverse the age and we look at this from a medical fitness perspective. Fitness is really about looking great, looking sexy, looking younger. It reminds us of a gym, it's about physical exercises which is great, everybody wants to be that. But say if a person is after 30 or 35 years of age, a mere simple fitness strategy of reducing carb, eating a lot of protein, working out in a gym might not really work. For example, a person with say a knee pain and a back pain would need an entirely different set of exercises. A person with hemorrhoids or inguinal hernia should not go to a gym and do a deadlift. There is a medical connotation to all these physical ailments. Same thing even when it comes to diet, a person with severe diabetes might not be able to increase protein because it might damage kidney. You need to look at the serum creatinine levels. You need to look at the serum uric acid levels before you actually do that. That's where the relevance of medical fitness is. Fitness definitely has its positives, but how do you bring in the medical side of the story and bring the best of both worlds together? That is what is medical fitness and that's what we do at Google. People equate losing weight to becoming healthy. And I tell them that for losing weight, you really don't need an expert. Just stop eating dinner and have cucumber salad instead, you lose weight. But would you really become healthy? Absolutely not. And that's where the importance of applying the right approach towards becoming healthy becomes important. You know, you don't lose weight and become healthy. The sequence is rather the other way around. You become healthy, you improve metabolic parameters and body vitals. Weight loss is just a happy byproduct of becoming healthy. The real challenge with us is that information overload is out there, especially in this internet era. A lot of information out there, most of it is actually wrong. And looking for the right information is really like looking for a needle in a haystack. In the name of becoming healthy, losing some weight, looking fit, we all end up doing a lot of things which might not be sensible and in many cases may not even be sustainable. And that's where educating people becomes important. Let me give you an example. Now, we all know brown rice is better than white rice, right? It has slightly higher amount of fiber, slightly higher amount of protein. But if you're having brown rice with say some curd and say some pickle, as against you're having white rice, but you're having that with a whole lot of green leafy vegetables, ample amount of protein, which of these two options do you think is actually healthier and better for a diabetic person? It would be option two, even if it is white rice. Right? This is how you should look at a lifestyle management from a sensible and sustainable perspective. No point in having a brown bread with a jam. You would rather have a white bread with say some paneer or some protein portion with a lot of green leafy vegetables and something very rich in fiber. That's how you should look into them. That's exactly what I mean by educating our clients to learn how to stay healthy through a sensible and sustainable manner. Now, I don't really mean to sound cliche, but I really love and enjoy helping people making a positive difference in their life. Apart from that, of course, I am into health and wellness and fitness. So I definitely have to go to a gym, I do workout, I do some yoga, I do some cardio. These all will make a person feel healthy. You know, the happy hormones, dopamine, serotonin, these would make a person feel healthy, makes them feel happier. So that really keeps me going. But there's one more thing that really keeps me going, that is, I'm a bookworm and a proud one at it. I really love and enjoy reading up new things, learning new things, because I actually get to apply all of that knowledge into helping a person and making a difference in their life. I even ended up writing a book quite recently. The book is called The Midriff Crisis. It's available on Amazon. The book was also selected for the world's largest uh, uh, international book fair and a publishing event at Sharjah. 
I'm hoping to get that book translated into a few more languages. So helping people, working out, learning new things really keeps me going. I get a kick out of it. We are an online health and wellness company. So what do we mean by online? We work with our clients from across the globe. Most of our clients are from US, Europe, Canada, Middle East, and even Kerala, outside Kerala, the Indian cities as well. As long as a person has a mobile phone or an internet connection, we can help them manage all these diseases that I earlier mentioned. And our real goal is to actually impact the lives of at least 10 million people. And our team is ready, our team of dietitians, clinical and fitness nutrition experts, uh, exercise experts and a panel of doctors, endocrinologists, gynecologists, physicians, all these people are ready to actually make that impact and make that tent in the universe.